2D shapes, very good, two-dimensional, flat, plain shapes. Okay, anything else you might say? Geometrical. They are geometrical. Okay, for instance, what is that? A hexagon, they know that. Okay, what is that? A pentagon. This one has eight sides, what might it be? An octagon. What is this one? Is It has ten sides. A decagon, very good. So what are all of them called? What is the class of items that they belong to? Poly one cracker. Polygons, okay. But triangle, what kind of gon is that? I don't want to hear triangle. I thought it was supposed to be some kind of gon like all the rest of these gons over here. What are, what is it? Polygon. What? It's a pyramid, quadrilateral. What'd you say? Polygon. It's, they're all polygons. It's a What's the particular name of this polygon? Mm -hmm. Go for it. Try. Try again. Try. This is lecture eight. Trigon. Okay, that's a trigon. How many of you think I made that up? Raise your hand if you think I made that up. Raise your hand if you think we might find something about trigons if we do some research. Ah, see, they have a lot of faith in the research here. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Ah, oh, look at all this stuff on trigons. It says here, what the heck is a trigon? Even these little guys are trigons. Mm -hmm. I found two pages of stuff on trigons. Has anybody ever heard of trigonometry? Trigonometry? <laughs> ah, that's all about trigons. See, I'm not totally crazy. Okay, what's this? Square. I thought by now you'd be afraid to say square. <laughs> he said square. What kind of, what, what do you say? Quadrilateral. Quadrilateral, I like that one, but I want the, I want the word to have gone in it. It's got to be a gone. Let bygones be bygones. What kind of gone is it? Hint. It has something to do with the name of this place that we are in right now. Tetragon. Tetragon, she got it. That hit worked. That's the first time I've used that. That's a tetragon. Who thinks I made that one up? Who thinks we'll find something on the internet for tetragons? See, I, I'm sold on research. Look at that. This is all the stuff on tetragons. See the tetragon right there? And this is an om nom nom <laughs> Okay? Everybody knows what that is, right? Okay, so, now, I wonder if there's anything we can make out of these polygons. Pyramid. He says, this is a pyramid. I like it. He shouted it out even before I asked the question. He was there. He was on it. Okay, it is a pyramid, but most pyramids I've seen have square bases, and this has triangular base. It's got four faces. By the way, all of these things are called polyhedrons. The three-dimensional ones are called poly. These are all hedrons, polyhedrons. So what kind of hedron might this thing be with four sides? Tetragon. Tetragon. Uh, you were almost there. <laughs> Tetragon. Polyhedron. Tetrahedron. That's a tetrahedron. We made it out of four triangles. We can actually make things out of polygons. What if we had three of these and we met them, got them to meet at one place? See how we made one of these, if we put the fourth one in? Can we make something with four of them? Let's see. What do we make this time? Pyramid. What's the base of this one? Square. Yeah, it's okay to call it a square. Okay, and what if I had one on the bottom? Then I'd have eight sides. That would be called an octahedron. That would be this one. See how it's got the two pyramids? No matter which way you turn it. Okay, now, can I make something out of five of them? Put them together like that. 
Will this work if I go all the way around? I think it will. Okay, that would be this one. That's called an icosahedron. See how it's the same thing? Icosa means 20. What if I had six triangles? Could I make something three-dimensional out of that? It's possible. It's possible, they say. There's my six triangles. Is it three-dimensional? I've used up all 360 degrees, so I can't do any more. Okay, how about squares? Can I make something if I put three squares together? What would I make? A cube. A cube, okay. Would I get something three-dimensional if I put four of them together? No, because you used all 360. I used all 360, 90 times four, right? Can I make something with pentagons? Yes. Do you think it would work if I went all the way around? Yes. Yeah, and that's called a dodecahedron. So all these guys are known as the platonic solids. See the five of them there? And here's some pictures of some more of them. I wonder if instead of having all of one kind, I could make something if I had two kinds of things, like that, squares and triangles. Look how nice that worked out. This is called a cube octahedron. It's got the six sides, the squares from the cube, and it's got the eight triangles from the octahedron. This is known as an icosi dodecahedron. It's made out of uh, pentagons and triangles. And here's one made of three different things. Pentagon squares and triangles. Pentagon squares and triangles, exactly. This is known as a rhombi icosi dodecahedron. It's this thing with some squares thrown in. And finally, this one. What's this made out of? Okay, here's the decagon right there. What is that? Oh, hexagon. hexagon. And squares, those three things. This is called a rhombi truncated icosi dodecahedron. It's a little family there. So, and I think, let's see, that's as far as we will go for the moment. So, until next time, what I want you to do is hold that thought.